What's your name? I don't know you. I don't know who you are. Eh? Hey? Jenkins. Jenkins? Yeah. Jen... Kin. Did you sleep here last night? Yes. Sleep well? Yes. Well, I'm awfully glad. It's awfully nice to meet you. You know, you remind me of my uncle's brother. He was always on a move, that man, never without his passport. He had an eye for the girls. Very much your build. Bit of an athlete, long jump specialist. Had a habit of demonstrating different run-ups in the drawing room round about Christmas time. I had a penchant for nuts. Couldn't eat enough of them. Peanuts, walnuts, Brazil nuts, monkey nuts. He wouldn't touch a piece of fruitcake. Yeah, it was a funny business. Your spitting image he was. Married a Chinaman, went to Jamaica. I hope you slept well last night. Listen, I don't know who you are. What bed you sleep in? Now look here, eh? That one. Not the other one. Choosy. How do you like my room? Your room? Yes. This ain't your room. You don't believe it or not, you've got a funny kind of resemblance to a bloke I once knew in Shoreditch. Well, actually, he lived in Allgate. I was staying with a cousin in Camden Town. His old mum was still living at the Angel. All the buses passed right by the door. She could get a 38, 581, 30, 38A, take her down the Essex Road to Dalston Junction next to no time. Well, of course, if she got a 30, he'd take her round Upper Street Way, you know, by Highbury Corner, down by St Paul's Church. And she'd get to Dalston Junction just the same in the end. I used to leave my bike in her garden on my way to work. Yeah, it was a curious affair. Dead spitter, you he was. Bit bigger round the nose, but there was nothing in it. Sleep here last night? Yes! How do you sleep? I uh, slept. Sleep well? Now look. What bed? That. Not the other. No. Choosy. Choosy. What sort of a sleep did you have in this bed? All right. You weren't uncomfortable. All right. You're a foreigner. How do you like my bed? This is my bed. You want to watch out, you don't get a draft. Tell him to settle down here, Give me my trousers there. Settling down for a long stay. Give me my bloody trousers there. Why, where are you going? Give me, and I'm going, I'm going to sit up. You know, you remind me of a bloke I bumped into once, just the other side of Guildford Bypass. I was brought here. Pardon? I was brought here. I was brought here. Brought here? Who brought you here? Man who lives here. Eh? Fibber. I was brought here last night. I met him in, in a calf. I got the bullet. This bloke saved me from a punch-up. He brought me here. He brought me right here. I'm afraid you're a born fibber, aren't you, eh? You're speaking to the owner. This is my room. You're sitting in my house. He says he's, he's seen me all right. That's my bed. What about this one, then? This is my mother's bed. Well, she wasn't in it last night. Now, don't get perky, son. Don't get perky. Keep your hands off my old mum. I, I ain't. I, I... Don't get out of your depth, friend. I... Don't start taking liberties with my old mother. Let's have a bit of respect. I got respect. You won't find anyone with more respect. Why are you telling me all these fibs, then? Listen. I ain't never seen you before, have I? Never seen my mother before either, I suppose. I think I'm coming to the conclusion that you're an old rogue. You're nothing but an old scoundrel. No. Oh, listen, oh, when? Sonny, listen, Sonny, you stink. You ain't got you're no... stinking the place out. You're an old rubber. There's no getting away from it. You're an old skate. You don't belong in a nice place like this. You're an old barbarian, honest. You've got no business wandering around in an unfurnished flat. I could get seven quid a week for this place if I wanted to. Get a take it or mother. 350 a year exclusive. No argument. Well, I mean, if that sort of money's in your range, don't be afraid to say so. 
Otherwise, I've got the van outside. I can run you down to the police station in five minutes. Have you in for trespassing, loitering with intent, daylight robbery, filching, thieving, and stinking the place out? What do you say? Unless, of course, you're interested in a straightforward purchase. I'll have my brother decorate the place up for you first. Yeah, I got a brother who's a number one decorator. He'll decorate it up for you. You can have this as your study. Yes, this brother I mentioned, he's about to start decorating them other rooms. Well, he's just about to start. So what do you say? 800 for this room or 3,000 down for the whole upper story? Who do you bank with? Who do you bank with? <laughs>